so now we'll discuss this example so that minus 1x minus x is between minus 1 and 1 log of 1 plus x will be x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x raised to 4 by 4 up to so on minus 1 raised to n minus 1 x raised to n upon n plus 1 and from this deduct that log of 2 equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 3, 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 and so on probably you have did this one many a times but here actually we are using the concept which we have used earlier or sorry we have proved earlier the one of the way is to prove this one by Taylor series expansion that means using the Taylor series expansion you just uh, do the expansion of this log 1 plus x you can have your this is as a series but another way is to do this using the term by term integration or term by term differentiation which we have learned into the power series so we probably know the the very well known a uh, series is known as a geometric series so we know this the summation of x to the power n is 1 upon 1 minus x if your x is between minus 1 and 1 as n turning from 0 to infinity this we already know now since this is a power series and it's having the radius of convergence is 1 so under this radius of convergence the term by this is uniform convergence which we have already proved and so the term by term integration is possible into this power series so taking term by term integration both sides we get so we'll take the integration from 0 to x x power n dx is equal to integration from 0 to x 1 upon 1 minus x dx now since this term by term integration is possible this integration sign and the summation sign is interchangeable so that's where we can write down summation and running from 0 to infinity infinity integration from 0 to x x power and dx and on this side the integration of this one we know it is log 1 minus x the limit is from 0 to x and if you can expand this one then this is summation and running from 0 to infinity if you do the integration of this one then it is x power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 as your integration is from 0 to x the limit is from 0 to x and here if i put the limit it is log 1 minus log 1 minus sorry when i substitute x it is log 1 minus x and then log 0 when i substitute 0 it is log 1 it is log 1 minus x minus log 1 and log 1 is 0 so this is nothing but the log 1 minus x and if I put x here, 0 here, then we can have it as summation and running from 0 to infinity x power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Now we can expand this one. Is you got 1 minus x. Ultimately, your goal is to prove that 1 plus x. Okay. So to achieve 1 plus 1 x, you just replace because this is true for any x between minus 1 and 1 to replace x by minus x we get summation n running from 0 to infinity minus 1 raised to n plus 1 x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 equal to log 1 plus x which we have to prove the next thing that we can 
want to prove that log one sorry log x sorry log two equal to one minus one by two. So ultimately, what you can see that if I expand this summation, then log one plus x we can write as x minus x square by two plus x cube by three, up to so on. And this is true for any x between minus one and one. And what is Abel's limit theorem says that if summation of a n x power n is f x, which we have log one plus x, and summation of a n is conversion, what is summation of a n here? It is summation of minus one raised to n upon n back n. This is your a n, and which is by Leibniz case, this is conversion. So we can able to apply the Abel's limit theorem here, and so we can take the limit x tends to one here, because that is the boundary point which we have achieved. So taking limit x tends to one minus by Abel's limit theorem. We say that limit of x tends to one minus log one plus x is equal to limit of x tends to one minus x minus x square by two plus x cube by three up to so on. Reduce to log two equal to one minus x. So one minus one by two plus one minus one by three up to so on. So this is the things which we need to prove here. I am giving you one examples as a homework. You can try for yourself with this example. So so that, or I can say that using Abel's limit theorem. That is the main thing. Otherwise, we can obviously prove using the Taylor's theorem. So, using the Abel's limit theorem, so that tan inverse of x is equal to x minus x cube by three plus x raised to five by five, x raised to seven by seven, so on for any x is between minus one and one, and Pi by four equal to one minus one by three plus one by five minus one by seven and so on. So you can prove this, or you can solve this example by yourself. If you have any question, you can ask.